Hi everybody, this is Billy Bear, the Lazy Modeler, coming at you on a beautiful July day, July night actually, um, Hastings, Michigan, it's uh, a little bit on the later side I'm doing this, um, I needed to do a video, I wanted to do a video, um, I've got some builds here that were not mine, uh, these are friends that gave me these models, um, I wanted to show you that, and I got some stash heads I want to show you. Um, just to make this short and sweet, uh, this right here, I used to have a real 98Z28. I got it brand new. It was, uh, it was, it had the LS motor in it, automatic, it was black, just like this. Same wheels, same everything on it. My friend Kurt Dillon built this. Unfortunately, Kurt is no longer with us, but, uh, he was a model builder. He loved building models. He did the best he could. Uh, sometimes he did really good. Sometimes they weren't all that great, but you know what? He tried. And this is one he built for me um, back when I had this car in 98. He built this for me. Sorry, it's a little bit on the dirty side, and it's black, so there's not much to really show off on this model. But uh, he presented this to me one day, and uh, I was just tickled pink. It was, uh, And I like this car. This was, uh, this was a fun car to build. Uh, he even did he even did the engine for me. He did a nice job on that. You know, for a little bit I knew about the LS engines. Why? Why? But that was a runner. That was automatic, and it was a runner. My dad drove my car more than I did. He'd go down to Indiana or Ohio or whatever, get smokes from my mom because they were like half the price, and he'd ask me if we could drive if we could drive the car. He says, "Well, of course you can." That's what it's for. I ended up, uh, I don't know, I ended up trading this car in on a, the real car in on a, uh, a, a Chrysler Sebring convertible for my wife. She said she complained because she didn't have toys, so I got her one. It's a little bit on the dusty side, you know, but, uh, you know, Kurt did a, did a, it was nice of him to build this for me. You know, I miss the guy. He's a, he was a good friend. He was a real good friend. Um, it was Sad when he passed, uh, you know, something that was, I knew was coming, but it didn't make it any easier. But anyway, this is one of those he did, you know, like I say, in 1998. This is uh, nice. And I've got one more of his. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is probably one of his better builds. This is the Plymouth Rotor, or the, excuse me, the, the Duster, 340 Duster. He did a nice job on this. You know, I've, it's, it's not perfect, but he did a nice job on it. It was... Uh, he took a lot of time, a lot of effort on his point to make it a lot. This was later on in his later years that he uh, built this one. It's a little dusty. I had it uh, sitting out. I didn't have enough cases for everything. I noticed something about this kit that I've noticed on a lot of the other builds that these front wheels sit out a little bit farther than they should. Um, when I build this model, I've got to build two of them. Um, I'm going to be building models of replicas try to do replicas of cars i've known one was a uh, pro street uh, duster by name guy by name of john planning i had it it was uh had a five 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 eleven cubic inch big block automatic it had uh, two front end had a uh, back half and uh it was connected uh it was a nice car a really nice car it drove nice i actually got to drive that car anyway getting back to this one uh kurt did a nice job on it. i don't know what paint this is uh he did a he did a really nice job on the engine. You know, it's 346 pack. I guess that's a six pack. You know, it's got the exhaust manifolds on it. He uh he he tried to do a lot of stuff on it. It's a pretty cool model. He did a nice job on the interior in it. Um I don't know if I can if you can point in on that stick shift car. I don't know if you can see anything. Nah, you can't see anything. But anyway, this is a this is a nice model that Kurt did for me. I was very happy. I got this uh Got this after his uh, after he passed, and his mother asked me if uh, I could help her out getting rid of some of his stuff. And I went over there with my friend Gene Kelly, and we took out 15 totes of models and parts and whatever. He had just all kinds of stuff and, uh, you know, stuff she didn't want to deal with. And this is one of them that I picked from, from what was in there. Well, that was a nice little kit. And this one, uh, this next one is a 65 Chevelle. It's, one, it's a replica of one I used to have. I used to have a car that looked very similar to this thing. Uh, I worked at, uh, I was a welder fabricator at a place called uh, Rapistan. 
And this guy was a fellow modeler, and he presented this to me one day. He says, hey, I built your model. I said, what? <laughs> and sure enough, this is this is it. I think this was the Z16 model kit. And I didn't even know this guy built models. I mean, this this guy was a huge hulking man. I would have never thought that that was something he liked to do. But he uh, he built this for me. He, he brought, drove that car into work one day, and he fell in love with it. But this is... Uh, Pretty much what my car was. It was it looked just like that, except my wheels were not chrome, but it had the big back tires on it, and it had the exhaust went out the was a dump. I had dumps on it, and it was a four speed. This has got a big block in it. Mine was a mine was a small block. I didn't have a big block for it. Uh, a buddy of mine that I sold it to eventually put a big block and made it look just like this. He had the exhaust like that, and it had the big block in it. I don't know where he got the. Must be the factory. Uh, must be the factory engine that came with the model. I never had that Z16 or Z11 or was it Z11 or whatever it was. That's out there. I I want to. I wanted to actually build build my car, but you know what? I've got this is this is close enough. I mean, it's fine. It's uh, it's. He did a nice job, but considering I didn't even know he built models, he said he did it on his kitchen table. <laughs> he said he brush painted it, and I says, really? And it, it came out pretty nice. Black model is kind of hard to show. You can see where it's been. He looked at it a lot. You can see where he took the chrome paint off, and, you know, it was, uh, it's nice. Mine had a four-speed in it. It was originally, when I bought that car, it was a 283 automatic car. I put a three three fifty and a four speed in it to put the pedals in and so on and so forth. And uh, when I had it uh, tubbed up, I put a nine inch with four fifty six gears in it, and it was a real mild three fifty, but it ran good. It ran good. It had an M twenty two in it. it had a, uh, shifted sweet. It was a sweet running, sweet shifting four speed. I had a lot of fun with that car. I don't know what's up on my front wheel. And I haven't even really looked at this 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 model. It's been sitting for years and years, and I decided I'm gonna kind of show that one off. So that's enough. Oops. So that's enough for the enough of the of uh, these things. Well, I guess I broke that. Well, that stinks. So I've got a couple a uh, couple kits that I picked up here in the last week or so. I'm gonna show you. I've got ideas for them, and I'll tell you what they are. Well. First off, I got I got another case. I had to get another case for the my models. I'm unlike you rich guys. I have to. Uh, I I don't have uh, big uh, big cabinets to put them in, except the one up for my for my classics. But this is uh, yeah, this is what I buy. It cost me uh, twelve ninety nine. You know, I'm going to put my truck, I think my truck will fit in there. I, I haven't even touched it, to be honest with you. I, haven't, I, haven't, I have not even been downstairs in, I don't know, two or three weeks. All right, the first one I got um, is the Pontiac Firebird. This is a Trans Am kit, seven and a half, I guess. Um, it looks like a pretty nice kit. I've seen other people build it. Um, this kit is going to be, like I say, I'm going to be building from here on out. I'm going to be building models of cars of people I knew. Uh, a guy by the name of Troy Brewer had a seven and a half Trans Am. He had a Chevy 427 in it, uh, 12 bolt. Uh, I don't know what gears, 456s or 488s. I'm not sure what he had in that thing, but he was one of the fastest. He was with the Grand Rapids Street Races Association. You know, it was a big name back in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, they, they're still alive. You know, they still have a few cars out there. And uh, Troy's, uh, unfortunately, this car burned up. Troy had a, somebody looking at it after years and years. It, didn't, it just sat. And uh, he went fired up, and I don't know what happened. It burned up, so that was that was a tragedy. But I'm going to build this car probably an early version of a non-narrowed up. He ended up he ended up tubbing the car back half in it. Uh, I'm going to build the original version. It had uh, aluminum slots on it, a big block, and like I say, it was a fast car. It's four speed. So that's one of them I'm going to do. That's going to be a lot of fun. You know, a lot of problem with these models, I'm showing you, these had, most of these models had, uh, you know, 70s and early 80s uh, wild paint jobs on them. 
So that's going to be an issue. Now this one right here is not going to be too hard to do. Everybody's seen this kit. This is the Pro Street version of the 66 Chevy 2. I have a friend of mine. His name is uh, Robert, Roberto Rodriguez. Everybody calls him Father Bob. I'm going to build this car for him. And it looks pretty much like that. It's going to be a different color blue. Um, the wheel tubs, I, the wheel wells, I've got to stretch them. Because this car didn't look, you know, it doesn't look that goofy. I'm going to have to stretch the wheel wells out to to where... Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but that's what that's what the main thing I've got to do with this and different wheels. He has different wheels on this, but that's a replica of Roberto Rodriguez's car. That's what this is going to be. It ought to be fun. And then I've got... Uh, I just picked this up today. Malibu 64 SS. Um... This, uh, you know, this is other ones a 65. This is a 64. Comes without an engine, but I've got an engine. I do have an engine. Um, the 64 SS, the first time I ever saw one or I paid any attention was when I was a, I don't know, I think a freshman in high school, by a guy, a hot rodder by a guy name of, uh, oh gosh, what was his name now? Anyway, he had, uh, he had the 64. It was uh, a goldish color, goldish green. I don't know what it was. It had uh, Raider wheels, and I didn't remember. I didn't know what Raider wheels were, but they were really cool looking wheels. It had a cam in it, four speed. It was. It sounded good. It looked cool. Bob Braille, that was his name. Anyway, Bob uh, drove this thing. He was a. Uh, I think he was a year out of high school, and he was picking up his girlfriend when I saw this car. He pulled it right up in front, and I think I was a freshman in high school, and I was uh, walking across the street from the junior high to the high school, and. Saw this car and watched him, and he got out a little bit leaving the leaving the, the high school. I was impressed. Bob was a hot rodder. He had some really cool cars, but this one because I don't know if anybody's got other another '64. That's what I'm gonna do with this. I want to make this look. I gotta find some Raider wheels though. I looked online today and I found some. I don't know if it's from the people I got. Got some from last time. They're like way too big. But anyway, this looks like a nice kit. I opened it up. It looks pretty nice. It even has a firewall in it. So that ought to be interesting. And then the last one. Oh, okay. 65 GTO hardtop. I mentioned one of my uh, later videos here. I've already done this kit. I did it in yellow. Daytona yellow or something like that. I'm going to make a hot rod out of this one. Um, my friend George Oppenheim sent me a sent me a 421 engine you know just a regular uh, just an engine kit i'm going to build that put this in here i've got to find a uh, firewall for it but yeah this one's going to have uh this one's going to be dark green it's going to be have craggers on it you know it's going to be jacked up in the back and it's going to be jacked up in the front and black interior i mean it's it's just going to be I remember seeing this car. Uh, this car I'm replicating at uh, at uh, a car show in the Pontiac Silverdome. I was sitting right next to my my friend. Had my friend uh, Chuck Pickett had a '35 Ford Phaeton in the show, and it was sitting right next. And I just sat there and drooled. '65s are my painting, my favorite Pontiac GTOs. They're without a doubt. I like the '64s a lot too, but not like the '65s. But anyway, this is what's going to be uh, going on next. Uh, one of these is. Got to get the engine in there and f try to figure out a firewall. Maybe I can take the firewall out at 67 Chevelle Pro Street that I've got a extra cannibalized kit here. So we'll see what happens. But that's what's on my agenda. Unfortunately, I have not been building models. First time I've been in my model room in a couple weeks. And sorry about that, but that's just the way it goes. Like I say, my motto is if you don't feel like building, don't build because you're not going to like what you're going to do. That doesn't apply to my life in general, but it does when it comes to models. So... <clears throat> but I'm a little inspired now. Uh, I'll get to work back on my truck. I haven't done a thing to it. But I just wanted to share this with you folks. And it's kind of cool. I'm really looking forward to building this one. I might save it to last. I don't know. Try to find some parts for it. But anyway, this is Billy Bear, the Lazy Modeler. I'm going to be signing off now. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Like if you like to. Uh, if you'd like to uh, make subscribe, that's awesome too. Uh, I'm at, I'm at 501 subscribers now. Thank you very much. It's awesome. But all right, my folks, you take care now. Bye.